Christians who don't obey the word of God are always going to be offended by Christians who actually do obey the word of God and really live their lives according to the word of God. Too many times I will see people who call themselves Christians respond to Christians who are actually living in obedience to God by saying things like, oh, well, I'm a Christian, but... And then they proceed to say something that is their opinion, but is completely unbiblical. I'm a Christian, but... I'm a Christian, but... You cannot truly be a Christian if you don't obey the word of God. If you don't obey the command of God, the word of God, the will of God, if you don't even agree or believe then you're not really a Christian because even Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord and not do what I say? Because to be a Christian is to be somebody who has accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. Two things, Lord and Savior. Some of you want Jesus Christ to be your Savior, but he's not your Lord. Do you know what a Lord is? A Lord is somebody that you obey. A Lord is somebody that when they say something, you obey it. You submit to them. You submit to their will. So that's why Jesus said, many people call me Lord, Lord, but they don't do what I say. And Jesus also said that during the judgment, there will be people who were in the church who did many miracles. They did miracles, they did signs, they did wonders, they cast out demons, but they will be thrown into hell because they were workers of lawlessness, meaning they disobeyed the laws of God. They were evildoers, they were sinful. So it's possible for you to believe that you're a Christian, to even walk in some miraculous signs, powers through the Holy Spirit, but actually end up in hell because you don't obey God. And that's why when you read the Bible consistently throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament, there's a central theme where God says that he prefers obedience and he wants, he desires obedience over burnt offerings, over sacrifice, over anything else that is obedience to the word of God. That is what truly shows that you are a Christian It's for Jesus to be your Lord and your Savior. He cannot be your Savior if he's not your Lord. So if this is you, if this has convicted your heart, if this has pierced you in your heart, I beg you, repent. Repent for believing that you can actually have your opinion above the Lord's and disobey him and live your life however you want, but still reap the benefits of going to heaven or having a right relationship with God. That's not how it works. Repent. And decide, God, not my will be done, your will be done. And decide to be obedient to the word of God. Turn away from your lifestyle of sin. If you are living in clear disobedience to God, turn away from that disobedience before it is too late for you. And do not deceive yourself into thinking that you can live however you want. Live a life of disobedience, of sin, of lawlessness, and still go into the kingdom of heaven. That is not how it works. So repent, turn to Jesus Christ, okay? And ask him to help you to clean your life up. You don't have to be perfect because Jesus said he came for the sinful, sinful. He came for the sinners. He didn't come for people who are already perfect, right? So you know that you're sinful. You know that you're living a life of sin. Okay. Accept Jesus Christ in your heart as Lord and savior. Confess it with your mouth. The Bible says when we confess with our mouths that Jesus is Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. So do that. And then when you do that, you receive the Holy spirit. And what the Holy spirit does is the Holy spirit empowers you to live that life of repentance that you need to live in order to be pleasing and obedient to God. So lean on God because he wants to help you. But the first step is acknowledging Jesus is Lord and Savior of your life. God bless you.